Jurassic period. Following the end Triassic extinction event, a new period began. It's called the Age of Giants because this is when we finally witnessed the definitive rise of dinosaurs. The supercontinent Pangaea continued its slow fragmentation, primarily splitting into two major landmasses, Laurasia in the north, comprising future North America and Eurasia, and Gondwana in the south, with the rest of the world. This rifting created new coastlines and shallow inland seas, leading to a generally warmer, wetter, and more stable climate compared to the harsh aridity of the Triassic. In a sort of chain reaction, this caused extensive forests to flourish, which provided abundant food sources crucial for supporting large herbivores. Everything seemed to aid the dinosaurs' growth as the dominant species, and in fact, they rapidly diversified and grew to enormous sizes. Two main groups of dinosaurs started to dominate the landscape. The first was the sauropods, the iconic long-necked four-legged herbivores that descended from the smaller sauropodomorphs of the Triassic, like Platyosaurus. These guys achieved colossal dimensions. For example, Brock Brachiosaurus, which was one of them, had a neck so long that he could look over trees to scout the area. Diplodocus and Apatosaurus, two other iconic dinosaurs, were also sauropods. Their immense size not only served as a defense against predators, but also as a necessity for processing vast quantities of relatively low-nutrition plants in extensive digestive systems. The second major group was the theropods, which came straight from the Triassic period. These guys roamed on two legs and were carnivores, having all the traits of standard predators, sharp and recurved teeth, powerful claws, and agile movement on two legs. One of the most common dinosaurs from this group was Allosaurus, a predator so effective that it's said to have hunted sauropods or stegosaurus. They're usually confused with T-Rexes, but they're not the same. They're just long-distant relatives. Another iconic dinosaur from the theropod group that developed around this time was Ceratosaurus, famous for the horn on its snout. However, not all dinosaurs were necessarily incredibly big. Smaller ones continued to exist, and matter of fact, one of the smallest dinosaurs dinosaurs of all time is found in this era. Compsognathus, a dinosaur that was as big as a chicken and hunted small lizards and insects. As a fun fact, birds originated specifically from the theropod group, with Archaeopteryx possessing feathers alongside reptilian features like teeth and a bony tail. It's important to note, however, that while theropods and sauropods were the two main groups of dinosaurs, there was an important third one.